I am Bob Biggs, Executive Vice President and CEO of Phi Delta Theta International Fraternity. And welcome to this, the 82nd Biennial Convention of Phi Delta Theta. So I'm at the 82nd Biennial Convention of Phi Delta Theta in San Antonio, Texas. It's every two years. We get to elect our general counsel. You know, we get to choose our future and impact our future for Phi Delta Theta. As an undergraduate, you, you're kind of sitting there and, and you're trying to take it all in because you'll see who the leaders are, you'll see how the decisions are made. But really, it's, it's just the largest gathering of Phi's every other year, and I begged my chapter president to let me come. It's kind of like a symbolic gathering of all the chapters. So we're really uh, just here as a brotherhood exercise while also on the side doing some managerial stuff. Yeah, San Antonio is a really fun town. The first thing you do, you get out of the hotel and you're at the river walk, so there's a lot of fun restaurants and scenery to see. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, I love the city. Couldn't ask for a better location, really. Definitely a celebration for Fidel. It's a great time for a bunch of guys to come together, celebrate their past two years, and just go out and have a good time with each other. We've added the Sports Hall of Fame over the last few years. The Sports Hall of Fame induction was really cool. It shows that we have brothers who do incredible things uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. With any sport or any locker room or anything you're in, it's all about the relationships that you have along the way. And some of the best friends I have are, are, are Fidelts, and along the way, you meet so many great people. I think it was awesome to see the, who are going to be the next leaders of the fraternity and their ideas and what they want to push forward. And then we got to ask some questions, and it was pretty neat being able to meet them one-on-one. -on -one. It's just a pretty cool experience to be able to be a part of the future of this fraternity. I now, by authority of the ritualistic law of the Phi Delta Theta fraternity, do hereby proclaim that they have been installed in their respective offices with all due form and ceremony and are fully for the discharge of their duties. We have installed our newly elected uh, general counsel for the fraternity. They took their oath pledging to transmit the fraternity to those who come after, not only not less, but greater than it was transmitted to them. I think with the new installation of the general counsel, the outlook as an international organization is looking pretty good. We're understanding that it's time to change and it's time to move forward on a different way of doing things so that we can be better and lead better. And you get to see how much it's impacted the whole world. I'm really proud to be a five for that reason. We have my word that this general council under my leadership will be dedicated to our values of friendship, sound learning, and rectitude. We're headed in the right direction and I've got nothing but hope for this thing. Definitely going to be a good next two years. I can see why Phi Delta is where it is now. I ask all Phi's, Phi families, and friends of our great fraternity to join me in moving onward. The 82nd Honorable General Convention of the Phi Delta Theta Fraternity is concluded. We will convene for the 83rd Honorable General Convention in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania in two years. Brothers, we are adjourned.